Good morning, good morning, good morning, Leo. Good morning. For today's message, we are going to take a look at what is coming towards you. Okay, in life, in love, and otherwise, whatever your spirit guides need you to know and be aware of. All right, we're also going to take a look at um, how you can remain focused on what you're passionate about while that situation is happening or going on. Um, and then we'll get an oracle message for you, okay? Leo. I hope you guys are doing well this morning. So, Spirit, what's coming for Leo, please? What do they have to look forward to? What do they need to be prepared for? Thank you. So you have the six of wands. That's beautiful to begin with. Um, this is victory. It's success. It's um, <laughs> heard accolades. Okay. Attention. Perhaps some of you are, um, how do you say? I, I want to say limelight. I don't know if that's the correct term, but that's what they're giving me. Okay. With the six of wands. Success. All right. Um, it also... It also has to do with attention, but we'll see. You also have the star card, okay? So some of you may very well be going towards your wish fulfillment here um, and, and beginning to see the progress, beginning to see the victory um, in what it is that you want. Let's see. And then you have the Ten of Swords, okay? So an ending, after some sort of betrayal here, you're dropping the swords, okay? You're getting up and saying, nope, I'm not dead, I'm revived, and look, you even have the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck there, okay? So you are healing for some of you with the Star card and the Ten of Swords, um, whether that's physically healing, mentally healing, emotionally healing, okay? Healing is on the table. And the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is a um, divine pairing. It's a um, beautiful connection. All right, you might feel connected to someone um, emotionally, intuitively, I'm feeling here. We'll see. It could be a friendship. It doesn't have to be a romantic relationship, but um, it could also be a business partnership. And I feel that strongly here that this has to do with work um, for a lot of you. All right, and your wish is coming true. You're um, getting the attention that you deserve. All right. Perhaps after some sort of betrayal in the job place, whether that means uh, by a coworker or by your boss, um, it's like someone didn't, like I said, didn't receive the attention that they deserve for some sort of work that you did, or or, or perhaps a project that you completed. Here, let's look deeper and see what you got going on here. Okay. These cards are being unruly today. I'm going to put them back. So, Spirit, can you clarify this message for Leo, please? Clarify this message so that they can understand what is coming for them in life and love. What they have to look forward to here, please. Tell me about the six of wands, please. Six of pentacles is coming out. You got two sixes. I always like to see that. The six for me, um, it, it means progress ultimately, okay? which is always good. We always want to progress in this thing called life. <laughs> Tell me more about the Six of Wands, please, for Leo. This is Six of Wands, thank you. You have the Queen of Swords showing up. Um, 
Okay, and you are showing up as well here. So this again is is something that is sort of in your conscious space that you're sort of aware of, that you're sort of working on, that you sort of have your energy into. That's what that means to me. You also have um, Aquarius energy on the board as well. And here's the Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck, okay? Um, moving you energetically into this place. So that's good. That's good. Very good, very good, very good. All right, let's see. So you may be dealing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What? <laughs> I don't know what that was about. Oh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with the Queen of Swords here, or that could be um, a boss or, or the co-worker like we were speaking of earlier. But again, um, I see this situation looking up for you, whatever it is that it represents, okay? Um, there's balance coming, there's harmony coming, there is um, a new approach for some of you. I don't know what that means, hopefully you do. <laughs> But I think you're also in this in this um, mode of like, I'm going to keep working. I'm going to keep fighting. I'm going to keep pushing until I receive what I deserve. Like you're not um, budging on that. You're very you're very um, strict or stern about getting what it is that you feel you deserve here. All right, let's look deeper. Oh, tell me about the Ten of Swords. What's this Ten of Swords, please, for Leo? Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, and the Hangman, High Priestess at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, this this could have been a, 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 like a personal secret that was um, leaked. <laughs> oh, the words they give me. But I feel like someone here is trying to make amends or the universe is, is trying to create that, um, that balance, that harmony, the, um, the universe is trying to work this out for you. This person may be coming forward with a message of some sort, perhaps an apology. Yeah, with the Queen of Cups and the Empress underneath the deck. I really feel strongly like that for some of you, this has to do with um, a work situation. Pisces energy is here as well. Yeah, they're like coming in with a peace offering, Leo. Okay. Let's look at this Two of Cups real quick. Can you tell us more about the Two of Cups, please? What does Leo need to know about the Two of Cups here? Ten of Pentacles, okay. The lovers, all right. And the three of swords. All right, they laid that right out. And the death card. All right, okay. Um, goodness gracious. All right, so for those of you that this has to do with a love situation, because that is coming through now, um, um, a marriage perhaps a divorce even here, that, that could very well be um, after some sort of heartache, some sort of heartbreak, um, something here is turning around for you. Something here is turning around. I mean, of course, it's up to you what, 
what you want to do. <laughs> um, but I do see this person coming forward, um, wanting to um, have victory in a situation. Doesn't necessarily mean they want to be back together. Um, they could very well be offering you this Ten of Pentacles, but I, I, I strongly feel like um, no matter what it is, that they definitely just want to have peace with you. Okay. Um, especially if there are children involved here. All right. Because we do have the page of pentacles here and the ten of pentacles. There's definitely a decision to be made, though, in this connection. Um, you know, whether or not you can get over or move past and forgive that person. Let's see here how you can remain focused on your passion um, or passions during this time. All right. I'm going to pull those in a second. They want me to clarify the star card. So let's do that real quick. What do you need, Leo, to know about the star card? Clear messages, please. Clear messages. What do you need, Leo, to know about this star card? The magician, yeah, someone definitely wants to have victory with you here. Um, and we have the Knight of Swords, couple of knights on the table. Yeah, there there may have been, um, like I said, you're, you're healing uh, mentally, emo emotionally, physically, again, for some of you. There may have been some sort of... Um, um, like emotional abuse or mental abuse, again, even physical abuse. I hope that's not the case, but um, it's showing up here. All right. And that's why this decision is such a big decision for you. And again, and also for those of you who... Um, this is a, has to do with work. You're you're really being recognized here for your efforts. Like they understand um, what you've done. Okay, the effort that you put into that thing, that project. Wow. Okay. First of all, Ace of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. Okay. I just heard choose love. Um, and then you have the strength card underneath of that, as well as the six of cups and the knight of cups. So this 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 person is really coming in. I feel like for some of you, it might be a distraction. Okay. Like, it feels like you have began, you have started to move on here and focus on yourself after this loss or after this um I don't know. For some of you, you may have literally been kicked out of the house <laughs> if this has to do with a relationship connection. But um, nonetheless, you feel alone. You feel like you haven't been heard. You feel like you're not being um, seen and recognized for um, all that you put into this. Again, for some of you, you have the Divine Feminine, um, the Empress card showing up here. So this again, may be someone that you have children with, okay? Ten of Pentacles are showing up here. Um, and I feel like for a lot of you, the the message here for how you can stay focused on what you're passionate about um, is to focus on your children, okay? It, while the relationship um, is going to be constant when you have children with someone, um, that doesn't mean that it has to be a romantic relationship, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. Because you don't want your children to um, 
grow up and, and wind up having abandonment issues or um, specifically with their mother, I feel here. Okay, what oracle message is relevant here for Leo, please? What can you help them out with? What should they focus on? Gossip. This is the heart chakra. This is the heart chakra. Yeah, for, for some of you, this, this, like I said, this has to do with a work situation where one of your coworkers or the boss even revealed some sort of secret. It may have had to do with your marriage. Maybe you weren't ready to tell people that you were having trouble or um, for some of you having trouble with your kids, perhaps at school. Um, but I feel like someone here revealed a secret and you weren't ready for it to get out. Or just was gossiping about your 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 home your life situation okay so just be mindful of that Leo this is the message that I have for you today um, if it is your message Leo please don't forget to like the video share the love and subscribe to the channel thank you